Hey, oh, happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you're having a great Saturday uh, today so far. And I wanted to hop on here today and, and uh, super duper quick and just let you know that you are amazing. Uh, I'm out here just taking a drive this morning, went to get some morning coffee, uh, hopped in my car to go over to the Vicious Ferry Hydroelectric Plant to see what the water is like in case I want to go fishing later. Um, and so you, you get in there and you park and you walk down this road and there's the, the whole hydroelectric kind of park there and the water and and I'm walking down. There's a couple of boats in there. One boat has a dad and two boys in there, two little boys. Uh, I have no idea how old they are, but they're out there fishing on this super duper awesome uh, bass boat. And, and it was just kind of awesome to, to think about how hey these guys there's this guy out here with his sons and they're fishing and they're having this experience and then I realize I look over there and they have run aground <laughs> and there's a channel that runs up the river that takes you to the spot where a lot of people fish but on either side of the channel is super duper shallow water uh, especially when the water's down you could walk across almost if you're not in the only deep part and so I realized this guy is stuck and he's got his trolling motor and he's trying to get unstuck and his son's on there with their with the net trying to like pry it off the rocks and and uh and then the guy starts his his large motor and just is and he can't even put the he can't even put the um trolling motor down far into the water because it's so shallow so he's kind of holding it and it's those of you who have used this trolling motor it's skipping off the water then he starts his big motor and there's a big rooster tail of water that comes up and he just stays stuck he 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 turns it off goes through this process a couple of times and finally you realize you see the guy take off his sweatshirt i'm like oh dad's going in and then he tries something else and then he then you see he takes looked like he had like a I don't know, rubber pants on or something. And he took his big long pants off and then and then next thing you know his shirt comes off and I'm like, yep, dad's going in. And, and then he takes his son's life preserver and puts it on and then gets out and finally uh, gets unstuck. And I, and I can imagine he's in the water and it's super shallow there. He has no shoes on. So his, his, he's standing on rocks that are probably slippery and and sharp at the same time going through all this process and thinking man I just wanted to be out here today fishing with my boys and I got to go through all this and and uh but finally they got off and and they they uh motored down river in, in the in the deeper part and were there and I just it was a good kind of an example to me and a reminder of sometimes when you're trying to have an experience even though it's a positive fun experience like fishing God knows I love that. Um, there are things you have to wade through sometimes that are part and parcel that go along with the fun experience. And, and we have to gauge for ourselves and decide, all right, what is it that I'm willing to wade through? What is it, what, what hardships are, am I willing to go through to have this positive experience? Because usually they go hand in hand. There's things you have to overcome, you have to adapt and you have to change as you go. Even sometimes in mid process, uh, when things that you didn't plan for, you know, come up and you can say, all right, well, all right, I'm done with this fishing trip. We're, we're run aground, let's just leave the boat and go home. You know, let's swim across. Or you say, okay, I'm gonna persevere, I'm gonna adapt and I'm gonna change so I can, get around this obstacle and get to or get through the this, this awesome experience I would have like being out fishing with your sons or or somebody that you love. So I wanna encourage you as you're going today and you're thinking about the, the experiences that you wanna have in life and the things that you wanna do and realize that, that most of them will be accompanied with a level of hardship. So just be prepared to you know go through those and some of the hardships you know end up being a funny or fun part of the story depending on how you embrace the, the hardships when they come. This dad could be cursing and swearing and tossing his kids out of the boat or they could be laughing about it and, and dealing with the stress of it and after it could be say, hey, remember the time? <laughs> remember the time uh, we got run aground when we were trying to go fishing and how we adapted and overcame and, and got on to the rest of our fishing trip and they talk about all the fish they caught or whatever else it is. So just be encouraged as you go. So yes, sometimes hardships will go in the midst of trying to have a great experience but don't let those things 
deter you from having a great time and experiencing the things that you want to experience. Adapt, overcome, and have a good time. Hope that helps you. Hope that encourages you. Get out there today, folks. Gain yards in all you do. And please take care of your mindset because it matters.